an early start, isn't it? <laughs> if we could win, it would just mean everything. Very excited. I think they're all in good point. We are here to win. Come on, ladies. There's a lot of people going to be watching us. Next to the first of two choirs who've reached this final as the wildcard picks of the category finals jury. Now, it's worth pointing out that the 2010 Choir of the Year winners, the Valencian Consort, also reached the final as wild cards. So it just proves that on the day, it really is anyone's game. Les Sirenes are a Glasgow-based female chamber choir of 22 voices, founded by musical director Andrew Nunn in 2007. I'm Andrew Nunn, and I'm the conductor of Les Sirenes. Get down here! The choir started um, five years ago in 2007. There was just so many talented female singers at the conservatoire. I loved choral music and I thought, let's start a choir. How do I keep control of 22 ladies? Well, it's not an easy job. Thank you, Louisa. I think firm but fair is the approach that I like to take. This isn't good enough. This is not good enough mezzos. I'm sorry. It's an F sharp. It's not oh, high. Oh, uh, uh, I don't like this. Could you read what's in front of you? Thank you. He's very strict on us, <laughs> and we let him think that he's in control. <laughs> That's the way to get around Andrew. Oh, just. Is that funny? The girls want to have fun, as do I. But at the heart of it as well is the music. When we were told that we were the wild card, we couldn't believe it. We were absolutely ecstatic and we're going to nail it.
My name's Aileen, I'm a founding member of Lissaren and I teach music to preschool children. I didn't come from a musical background myself and I look at the difference that music made to my life and I'd like to think that I'd be able to do that for some more children all over Glasgow. So today is a typical day for me, I'm off to one of my favourite nurseries. Hi, it's Aileen. What's this instrument called? <laughs> Giving children the opportunity to express themselves through music, to come together as a group, to make friends, to grow in confidence. It's a really rewarding job and I, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. One more time. Can you hear the rain drop? Obviously. I'm exhausted. It's hard sometimes to go to choir practice when you've been working all day. But then I love it so much that, you know, I could never walk away from it. I always have to go. And I always enjoy being part of something as wonderful as Lissaren.
Les Sirènes and their conductor Andrew Nunn. Two contrasting pieces from Les Sirènes there, Mary. What did you make of the choice of repertoire? Well, I thought it was completely compelling. I have to say, I'm feeling a little bit um, <laughs> um, wobbly. Um, uh, very, very good. We had fantastic, warm toned, professionally skilled individual voices. It was the best legato singing of full toned piano I've ever heard. It's fantastic. Well done, girls. Wow. Thank you, Mary. Ruthie, I can see you looking a little bit moved there yourself. How did you feel about the performance? I felt exactly the same. I felt you had me on a soul level. It, you, you, you literally went into my core and I felt choked up, uh, the second song particularly, because the blend of your voices was so beautiful um, that I, I just was totally yours. And uh, the first piece had so much humour, and it was done. It was it was a, a, a wonderful acting piece, and I I thought you chose perfectly for these fantastic women. Fabulous, thank you, Ruthie. <laughs> Great comment. Let's hear it for Lucy then. Well, we're already halfway through this grand final of Choir of the Year 2012. Three choirs down and three still to perform, including the winners of the children's and the open categories. First, let's hear from Les Sirenes, who are backstage with Josie. Andrew, Hi. Ruthie and Mary touched on a soul level. Is there higher praise for a choir? I don't think so. And that was, we had every intention on doing that. Um, we wanted to really reach inside every member of the audience in the festival hall this evening and really touch a heartstring, you know, and tell them the story that we are telling. And you look like you're having a whale of a time doing it. Yeah, we did, say. you know, absolutely. <laughs> I think that's important. Aileen, you came in here as the wild card. Does that affect the attitude you came with? Oh, no, we're, we're all wild girls, so I guess <laughs> the wild card sits as well. Um, no, we were all about the fun and the music, so, you know, we've put our all into um, everything we've done tonight, so hopefully it'll pay off. I'm really pleased with the comments that we got, and I'm pleased, I'm so proud of Andrew, I'm proud of the other girls. You know, we've had so much fun, and we've worked really hard, so well, that's all we can do. Beautiful singing, beautiful ladies. <laughs> Thank Over you. Over to you, Tim. <laughs> Thank you, Josie. Choirs, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a decision. I know. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage Bill Calloway, Chairman of Choir of the Year, and our jury, Ruthie Henshaw, Greg Beardsell, and Mary King, who will announce the winner of Choir of the Year 2012. We had uh, robust discussions, but we are now in total agreement. And so I am going to open the envelope. Are you ready? And the winner of the Choir of the Year 2012 is Les Sirenes. <laughs> happy we've all worked so hard and you know it's the whole choir is all of our best friends we've put everything into this and Andrew our conductor is just so tough on us but you know it's obviously paid off I couldn't be happier we're all just buzzing I can see the girls just buzzing oh, it's just great I'm really happy you've been absolutely fantastic and you've really Thank represented you. the best of what amateur choirs Thank can you. achieve Thank well you. done congratulations That brings Choir of the Year 2012 to a close. What a fantastic event it's been. I'm sure you'll agree. So from all of us here at London's Royal Festival Hall, good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>